In the past five years, California has experienced everything from extreme drought to related wildfires and massive debris flows from the rains that follow. Last year, much of the state was hammered by near record rainfall, but this year drought has again grown quickly. So is this related to climate change? Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Dave Hubdi to examine that. Dave, what do you think? Well, the general rule of thumb is that individual events are difficult to directly connect to climate change since some would happen whether or not there was climate change. However, the frequency and intensity of those extreme events are increasing, and most experts think the time for debate on the topic is over. I recently attended Operation Sierra Storm in Lake Tahoe, where experts from around the country came to discuss the issue and what, if anything, can be done about it. To understand how climate change impacts you, the first thing to understand is that this is a big picture thing we're talking about. It isn't about an individual hot day or a dry week. It isn't even about just your backyard, it's about everyone's. Global average temperatures are up in the modern era as this NASA animation shows, primarily due to increasing carbon dioxide levels. One of the biggest problems getting people to accept climate change is to get people to understand that yes, scientists are fully aware that the Earth goes through cycles of varying intensities of sunshine and volcanic activity, along with a multitude of other large-scale oscillations. But the current calculations take all of that into account. Scientists like Noah Diffenbaugh from Stanford University say we have to face our role in a changing world. From a scientific point of view, it's very clear that global warming is happening. It's very clear that uh, human activities are the primary cause. High temperature records are falling at a rate of 7 to 1 over low temperature records and 80% of winters in California now produce drought because they're also connected to seasons that are very warm. The last four years in California have been among the warmest for high and low temperatures in the last 123 years. Many experts and media that cover the issues say the biggest problem about climate change is it's treated more like a political position than a scientific concept. Oftentimes when you start talking about causation, people start to get angry because they want to start blaming one person or another. We've got to get away from that and just start to acknowledge that it's happening so that we can begin to address it regardless of the cause. People kind of, um, they react to it as if they're reacting to kind of a trauma. They want to deny that it's happening because it's kind of, it's huge, right? It's, it's hard to process. Um, and then they go into kind of a grief mode, like, and also a sense of what can I do? Um, and then you have to come out of that and say, all right, we, we have to make some changes. And as it turns out, the changes that we can make um, are going to really benefit us in the long term. The issues for California are wide ranging. Snow in winter is becoming less reliable, which means a snowpack, which supplies water for much of the state in dry months, simply either isn't there or at very high elevations. Warmer global temperatures are also increasing the height of seas, meaning surges from storms or tides can impact some coastal California towns. I put complete interviews with everybody I talked to on this story on my social media, so go check that out.